Well, exclusive new details now about the so-called manifesto left by the Covenant school shooter. Authorities have yet to release publicly what was written. But as our Nick Barris tells us, the TBI director, David Rausch, did talk candidly about some of the writings recently with a group of sheriffs. Director Rausch spoke at a Sheriff's Association meeting in Franklin on Wednesday. Now, I'm told that he said that what police found isn't so much a manifesto spelling out a target, but really more of a series of rambling writings indicating no clear motive. Investigators searched the Nashville home of the Covenant school shooter, leaving with, among other things, a number of handwritten journals, some videos, and computer hard drives. Director Rausch told sheriffs that the review so far of the material finds that the killer did not write about specific political, religious, or social issues. In fact, a primary focus in the journals is on idolizing those who committed prior school shootings. The killer appears to have followed their lead, planning for months and acted alone. Scott Augenbaum, a former FBI agent, says federal agents, the TBI, and police will be thorough. We have teams that are scouring the internet, going through social media, talking to friends, family members, neighbors, seeing what was the motivation for this? Who was behind this? What kind of clues can we find out? What can we learn from this? Right, right, right. Certainly more details will emerge, but at this point, Director Rausch indicated it does not appear the shooter wrote of any particular agenda regarding politics or to target a specific person or religion. So for now, a clear motive remains a mystery. Move, move! There are many rumors and unconfirmed conclusions fed, frankly, by conspiracy theories, but none of them have yet been confirmed by actual facts. Hopefully, at some point, the so-called manifesto or journal writings will be made public so that people can see for themselves. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. All right, Nick, uh, the writings, Nick says, remain under careful review. And it's not only the Metro Police, but also the FBI's Behavioral Analysis Unit based out of Quantico, Virginia.